Hi, this is Gary Weston, author of Old, Bold, and Not Yet Cold. In an earlier video, I talked a little bit about the book, and I shared a couple poems from the Growing Older section. In this video, I wanted to share a few poems from the Growing Giddy section. I hope these poems will give you not only a smile, but some things to think about as you smile. The poems are Reality TV, Awesome or Awful, and Rules. I hope you enjoy. Reality TV, from Old Bold and Not Yet Cold. Can you believe what you think you see? Or is this scripted for you and for me? A regular Joe gains celebrity coming to life on your big screen TV. An amazing race or survivor game gives us a hero or someone to blame. It may be an act refined or quite crude, but grabs your attention, mellows your mood. Gives us a villain or someone to praise. Adds entertainment to boost boring days. Zero to hero and hero to star. Fame for a regular guy takes us far. Celebrity Apprentice made us all see a TV star rise to the presidency. Follow-up fame might make you a czar. Win family feud and you get a new car. You may be an idol. You have a great voice. You're hoping to be America's choice. You'd love to reside with strangers in a house, being quite bold, or quiet as a mouse. You're dying to say if the price is just right. You'd like to take home a million tonight. Vicarious viewing will give you a smile. It keeps you connected and focused a while. We don't know for sure if reality's real. It doesn't much matter. It's just how we feel. We're just glad the new notoriety gives us our dose of variety. Eating watermelon at the beach puts my happiness in reach. That's a lesson I'd like to teach. Happiness varies for all and for each. For some people, it's easy to smile. For other folks, it takes quite a while. There are those who just wince and scowl. They parrot the look of a contemplative owl. Some like to go for a run in the sun. Others need a nap before the day is done. Some like to travel as widely as can be. Others are content to sit and watch TV. For gladness or sadness, it's easy to see. Each of us acts individually. The optimum mixture of glum and glee is made from a personal recipe. You must look before you leap. Say your prayers before you sleep. Look both ways to cross the street. Wash your hands before you eat. Do your homework after school. Don't eat much before the pool. Keep your money out of sight. Wear bright clothes to walk at night. Brush your teeth three times each day. Be polite with what you say. Always say thank you and please. Cover nose before you sneeze. Say nice things or just don't say. Do your work before you play. Meet your curfew every night. Always do what you know right. Cover mouth before you cough. 
At bedtime, turn cell phone off. Help your elders cross the street. Make your room look clean and neat. Get eight hours of sleep each night. Make your bed with corners tight. Show your work when doing math. Wash each day with shower or bath. Don't take candy from a stranger. Tell someone if you're in danger. At your meals, please clean your plate. Be on time and don't be late. There are almost countless rules. Some assume that we are fools. Others serve as useful ways to help us make it through our days. It's good to have a rule or two to help remember what to do. However, it could also be said, it's always good to use your head.